the last topic of this unit is spheres. So a sphere is basically just looks like this. Um, all of his measuring points are coming from the great circle. And that's a circle that lies directly in the center of the sphere. So there's where we get our circumference. There is where we get our radius. It's just the dead center of that sphere. So in order to calculate the volume, we have to use a special formula. This is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So just notice it's not pi r squared. This is going to be pi r cubed. So all we're going to do is basically solve with substitution. And I'm just going to show you a few examples. So we have 4 thirds pi r cubed as our, that is not a 3, as our formula. So I'm just going to start to plug in. So 4 thirds, I'm going to keep pi how it is for now. And then r in this situation is going to be 3. So we have 3 cubed. So 3 cubed, keep in mind, is 3 times 3 times 3. So we have 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 9 times 3, which is equal to 27. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and move this over here so I can take care of pi at the very end. So I have 27 over 1 multiplied by 4 over 3 pi all right and and pi is on the outside so i could do a couple of things here i noticed that 3 is a factor of 27 so i could just go ahead and cross cancel 3 goes into 3 one time 3 goes into 27 nine times always try to look for those opportunities to simplify if you can now, 9 times 4 is just going to be equal to 36. And then 1 times 1 is 1. So I'm not even going to turn that into a fraction. I'm just going to keep it as an integer. So this is going to be equal to 36 pi. So now all I need to do is take 36 and multiply it by 3.14. And this is going to give me a value of 113.04 meters cubed. So this would be my answer. So as you can see, numbers turned out nice. I was able to cross cancel, but you're not always going to get that. So there is another way I could have solved this. So we have 27 over 1 multiplied by 4 over 3, and this is pi. So let's just say you didn't know how to cross cancel. You could, of course, have multiplied 27 times 4. So 27 times 4 is equal to 108. And then you have 3 times 1, which equals to 3, pi. And then at this point, you just go ahead and take 108 and divide by 3. And you'll still get 36. And then you'll just continue from this step. Okay? So as you can see, we got a nice integer, 36 pi. But that might not always happen, especially because we're multiplying by 4 thirds. So let's take a look at example number 2. There we go. <laughs> Volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So now our radius is going to be equal to 2 in this situation. So 4 thirds pi, and then this is going to be 2 cubed. Now, once again, this is just 2 times 2 times 2. We're multiplying 2 by itself 3 times. So this is going to be 4 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 8. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this to the front again and deal with pi last. So we have 8 over 1 being multiplied by 4 over 3. And then this is pi. I can't cross cancel here. So there's nothing much I could really do except for multiplying out. So 8 times 4 and then three, um, 1 times 3. Pi. So this is going to be equal to 32 over 3 pi. So as you can see, it's in fraction form. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide. I'm most definitely going to get a decimal here. But got to do what I got to do. So this is about 10.67. We're going to always try to round to the nearest hundredth if we can. Round to the nearest hundredth. And that's 32 divided by 3. So it's going to be multiplied by 3.14. So once we multiply that out, we're going to get about 33.5 meters cubed. I just rounded to the um, tenth there because there was a zero after this and then another number so I just stayed at the tenth. And that's how you would solve it when your numbers aren't as clean. Now let's just go ahead and try one more example. <clears throat> I 
So in this case, it gives us our diameter, which is 14. So of course, we need our radius, and the diameter is always twice as big as the radius. So our radius in this case is going to be equal to 7 meters. Once again, volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now, I'm going to do something a little different. You don't have to do this, but I do want you to remember that pi is also 22 over 7. Okay, So we have 4 thirds, and we're going to multiply that by 22 over 7. Now, r in this case is going to be equal to 7 cubed. Now I'm just going to expand this for a little bit. 4 thirds times 22 over 7 multiplied by, we have 3 sevenths. Multiply by 7 over 1, multiply by 7 over 1, multiply by 7 over 1. Okay, that's just 7 cubed. 7 over 1, 7 over 1, 7 over 1. I just put everything in fraction form. I know it seems a, a little bit confusing, but as you can see here, I could cross cancel these two. Right? And essentially just get rid of one of these sevens. So if I cross cancel these, I have 4 thirds multiplied by 22 over 1, multiplied by 1 over 1, which is just 1, multiplied by 7 over 1, multiplied by 7 over 1. So essentially, I just got rid of that 7, so I don't even have to cube that 7 anymore. I could just square it now. All right? So, after all that, I'm not sure if that really helps with the math at all. It probably doesn't. We have 4 thirds times 22 over 1 multiplied by 7 over 1 multiplied by 7 over 1. So now let me just put them all together. 4 times 22 times 7 times 7 is 49. That's all going to be over 3. Let's continue to evaluate. So 4 times 22 is going to give me, I could figure that out in my head, that's 88 times 49 divided by 3. 3 can't go into 88 3 can't go into 49 evenly, so we have no choice. We're going to have to multiply these two and divide by 3 at the very end. So when we multiply those two, we get 4,312 over 3. And then finally, we take 4,312 and divide by 3 to get 1,437.33 centimeters cubed. Okay, so it's not the cleanest. You know, and I, I guess it, it's not great working with fractions, but because of this four thirds, we're going to have to work with the fraction anyway. So that's why I just thought it would make sense to cross cancel here and just turn pi into a fraction instead of multiplying by 3.14 at the very end. But that's basically it. Volume of spheres.